Well, howdy, you flea-bitten varmints. In this quick video, we'll review the offset calibration for the eye spindle and review an alternative way to update the firmware. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time-honored tradition meets modern-day technology. Please consider subscribing to follow my progress on building a fully robotic reflux still operating on open source technology. Make sure you watch this whole video before you start your eye spindle offset calibration. Make sure that you use a level to find a level surface. Put the eye spindle into configuration mode. You do that by turning it on and hitting the reset button four or five times. In configuration mode, the light on the D1 Mini will blink about once every second. Set it down and wait for the eye spindle to stop rocking back and forth. Ideally, you want the gyroscope level with the surface ads on. In future videos, I'll be showing you how to mount the gyroscope slightly elevated so it will allow for minor adjustments later on. I'm going to use my laptop to connect to the iSpindle Wi-Fi. Once connected, I'll go to the webpage 192.168.4.1, which is the iSpindle's configuration page. Check the current tilt of the iSpindle under iSpindle Info. A properly calibrated iSpindle will sit around 89.9 degrees. You can see from our iSpindle, it's not there. We'll start by doing an offset calibration. So we'll come back to the main page and go into maintenance and calibrate. While calibrating, the LED light is on solid. It takes just over two minutes to complete. When it's done, power off the ice mineral and put it back on again. Put it back into configuration mode. Go back into the configuration page and check the tilt. You can see that our offset calibration had no effect. This is due to a bug in the firmware that's been solved in a later release. So we'll go ahead and update the ice spindle firmware. I'll leave a link down below to a blog post with all this information, but for now, I'll head over to opensourcedistilling.com. I'll go to the blog section and I'll click on my previous blog post about flashing the firmware. On this post, I have links to the flasher and to the latest release of the firmware. So I go ahead and I download both. I open the flasher and I connect my eye spindle via a USB cord. But, uh oh, there's a problem. A flasher will no longer recognize my eye spindle. And I try multiple times and I don't know, you can only do so much. Unplug it, plug it back in, turn things off and on. But no matter what I do, my computer and the flasher just isn't recognizing that the eye spindle is connected. So I unplug the eye spindle from the USB and put it back into configuration mode and connect up to it again. I head over to maintenance and update firmware section. I browse for my firmware.bin file and I press update. While the firmware is updating, the eye spindle stops blinking. Whatever you do, don't touch it. The last thing you want to do is brick your eye spindle. When the firmware update has completed, the light on the eye spindle will start blinking again and you'll get a confirmation web page displaying as well. Cycle the power off and back on again. Put the eye spindle back in its pelting, or its little test tube, whatever you want to call it. Put it back into configuration mode and wait for it to stop rocking again. Do the whole connection thing, come back to the configuration page, go to maintenance and calibrate. Notice that the new firmware calibration only takes five seconds to complete. And that is a huge improvement over the two minutes that it previously was. Once the light is blinking again, we're gonna cycle the power once more. Put the eye spindle back into configuration mode, wait for it to stop rocking, and check the current tilt. The eye spindle is now offset calibrated. You can see it's sitting right around 89.9, which is in the ballpark of where it should be. Offset calibration is the first step in calibrating your eye spindle. The next calibration is getting your eye spindle to float at 25 degrees in pure water. After that, we're going to be looking at doing the calibrations that define the equation and really links the tilt values to your specific eye spindle. One of those calibration methods is done with sugar and water, and it's referred to as the easy calibration method. Another way we're going to do it is do up the actual real-world test 
where we're going to ferment a bucket of sugar wash and tie those uh, specific gravity readings into the tilt values of the eye spindle. Of course, if you guys have any comments, questions, constructive criticisms, please leave them in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Well, thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hope you're having a great day. And I love each and every one of you. Very, very much. <laughs>